In this video, we're going to talk about Riemann sums and how to do a left Riemann sum. Now keep in mind from a graph perspective, if I were to have a graph that is going like that, a left Riemann sum from, let's say, A to B would be a series of rectangles where the top left corner of your rectangle is touching the curve. Now notice there's error, and we'll be talking about error as we do more and more Riemann sums. So take a moment, pause, I'll wait for you, read this problem. Thank you for reading the problem. Now, let's see, water is pumped into a tank at a rate modeled by this function. Uh, now if we skip down to B, uh, which is our Riemann sum portion. And this top portion is in other parts of the problem. This is part of an FRQ, actually. Uh, it says use a left Riemann sum with four subintervals. That means n is four, indicated by the table to estimate the total amount of water removed from the tank during the eight hours. So that means from zero to eight. So let's go ahead and start with a left Riemann sum. Now, with a left Riemann sum, we need to first look at what the numbers are skipping by in the top. So from 0 to 1 is skipping by 1. 1 to 3 is skipping by 2. 3 to 6 is skipping by 3. And 6 to 8 is skipping by 2. Those numbers represent the length of the base if we think of it as a picture. Now, our R of T, that's going to be the height. So we've got base and height. So we start off on the left side, and we start with our first height, 1340. And we're going to multiply 1340 by the height, which was 1. We're going to add to that the next rectangle, the height being 1190, with a base of two because this was a two. Our third Riemann uh, rectangle would be a 950 uh, times a three. And our fourth Riemann would be 740 times a two. Your job now, and if they gave you a calculator, you would simply put this in your calculator and add it up. Or if they don't give you a calculator, you would need to multiply and add that up. Uh, it then says, is this an overestimate or an underestimate? Well, to do that, you need to look at the y values, or in this case, the r of t values, and notice that they are decreasing, which matches up with our picture over here. Notice then that the rectangles all have error above the curve, so it would be an overestimate. Uh, and the reasoning behind that, because it says give a reason for your answer, is you would say that because the graph is strictly decreasing, notice it's decreasing every time, a left Riemann sum is an overestimate. Let's see how AP would grade just that portion. So again, uh, our Riemann sum, notice they used the same numbers that we did. Uh, Adding it up would be 850 liters. Overestimate, because r is a decreasing function. You get one point for the Riemann sum, one point for the correct answer, and one point for the overestimate. So again, one point for setting up the Riemann sum, one point for the answer, one point for the reasoning. Let's take a look at another one. Pause and Read the question and then come back. Thank you for reading the question. So again, we have a table of values representing, in this case, uh, the temperature of water in a tub and how it is changing over time. This time, notice that the values are increasing. So again, if we think about that as a picture uh, and we think about them increasing, it might look like that. Uh, and so if we do our left Riemann sum, notice that the rectangles are under the curve, implying an underestimate if they ask us for that information. Uh, this time, they want the average temperature of the water in the tub. 
Well, if you think about an average, you find an average by adding the numbers up and then dividing by how numbers, how many numbers there are. That's where the 1 20th comes into play because you're going from 0 to 20, you need to divide by 20 at the end. Again, left ring on sum, four subintervals, so n is 4. So again, let's go ahead and start. We would go, uh, we need to find what we're skipping by, so we're skipping by 4, by 5, by 6, and by 5. Our first rectangle would be 55 times 4. Our second rectangle would be 57.1 times 5. Our third rectangle would be 61.8 times 6. And our fourth rectangle would be 67.9 times 5. Notice that in both examples, the far right value does not get used. Since we only have four rectangles, that would be 1, 2, 3, and 4. If they give you a calculator, plug that in. If they don't give you a calculator, you'll have to multiply and add that up. It then says, does this approximation overestimate or underestimate the average temperature? Well, once we add this up, and we divide by the 20, that would give us our average. Again, if we look at our picture, all of these values, the error is under the curve, so that would make it an underestimate, because if the graph is strictly increasing, then a left Riemann sum is an underestimate. Let's see how they graded that. So again, let's see, they went ahead and used the same values that we did. This time, because it was an average, we have to multiply by 1 20th or divide by 20. We would get a 60.79. It is an underestimate because the left Riemann sum is a, we have a strictly increasing function. Again, three points. One point for the sum, one point for the approximation, one point for the underestimate with reason.